Hey guys, today's video is going to be a little bit different because I am going to a parade that is to celebrate Asian heritage and it's my first pageant duty in a while. See you guys later. In 2019, I participated in the Miss Chinese Beauty pageant in West and was founded the first runner-up. As a part of my pageant duties, I participated in various community events. Today, I'm going to take you guys with me to the first AAPI Heritage Month Parade in Midtown Manhattan. Let's check out how I spent the day fulfilling my duty. At 7 a.m., I arrived to the meetup location promptly and we immediately started with my makeup first. Our pageant makeups are done by the Makeup Bright team, which is led by Evelyn Ho, one of the founders of MCBP. Soon as my makeup was done, our hairstylist Steve took over to do my hair. I changed into my evening gown afterward, and here's my look for the day. I chose this elegant light blue gown and embellished the look with a pearl chain from my shop and the necklace that was a gift from the pageant committee. Hello, Hong Nang Noi, say hi. It's video. Oh, we radio. have pictures. Oh, yeah. Hi. Say hi. Man, you guys are stiff. <laughs> you guys got no practice. We are now headed to the parade. Before the parade started, the organizers and participants lined up in front of the stage to take some photos for the press. From colorful costumes and traditional dances snaking around Midtown Manhattan Street, the first ever Asian American and Pacific Islander Cultural and Heritage Parade was on full display in New York City Sunday. This community has given so much to the city and to be able to march and celebrate, this is your way of showing not only your political strength, but it shows how you are very, very much part of the fiber of this city. Attending this parade had many important meanings to me, and it was more than an honor to represent my heritage at the parade. And within these three years during the pandemic, Many heartbreaking and unjust events have increasingly happened to our community. At the same time, I witnessed how our community grew stronger together through raising our voices. Of course, a parade won't fix a deeply rooted issue, but it's a way to increase our media presence and to gain more listening to our concerns. If we stand against Asian hate, we stand against anti-Semitism. We stand against hate to other ethnic and cultural groups. Our brother. 